Scott, Scott, thanks. Scott, well, don't thank me yet. <laughs> You're really jumping the gun here. Yeah. And what, what do you do? Uh, I'm a pastor. You're a pastor? Oh, oh, you want of applause, yeah. I just started going to church. <laughs> the dirty mosquito jokes. The dirty mosquito jokes, that's the one? That's, that's the one you're going to bring up and uh, a little forgiveness. How about that? <laughs> this is true. I was working in India last week. And I worked in uh, Mumbai. And I went to this beautiful area. There was caves where they had... Uh, hand dug a thousand, over a thousand years ago a Buddhist temple and the Buddhist guy there was explaining <laughs> the different situation he did a chant and then he went into what it was about he said the first first tenant is uh, you, you can't kill anything uh, not even a mosquito and the second tenant was you have to be kind to women and girls the third tenant was you had to be honest and I said what was that first thing again <laughs> Oh, sure, you like me mocking the Buddhists, don't you? That's fine and dandy with you. You didn't mind me crushing that mosquito for you, did you? Yes, sir. Okay. But uh, I'm just starting to learn. I, I, I'm really kind of ignorant. I'm new to the church, but I really enjoy it. And I enjoy it because they read right out of the Bible. And it's, it's very interesting. Because like I'm, I'm a history guy. And they just were reading from the book of Esther. Anybody ever heard of that? Yes. Okay. If, I don't, kids are probably too young for this. There's this movie 300, and there's a guy, Xerxes. He's a very evil guy. And his number two guy, <coughs> number two general, was, uh, I forget his name, you probably know it, but he hated the, the Israelites. Thank you, church people. <laughs> now, this is what's the problem is because I listen, but I don't learn the right lesson. Because Haman left Xerxes' side one day, and he was very angry. With Esther's, uh, I don't know if it's his uncle or something, was a Mordecai, was a, a rabbi, Mordecai. Mordecai did not give the proper respect that this guy, this number two evil guy, thought. So he went home. He was very angry. His wife said, uh, "If you impaled him, would it please you?" And I thought, my wife never says stuff like that. To me. <laughs> if I had a problem with a guy. She'd say, what did you say to him? Did you say something wrong? She never says, why don't we impale him? Would that it please you? <laughs> Just once, I'd like my wife to have my back like that. <laughs> I don't know if that's the way you preach it, but that's what I think about. 